Hey there, welcome to Hold and Modify. This is Q, YouTube's most underproduced, poorly produced Amiga channel. And I want to cover a topic today that for those of you out there that are new to the Amiga scene, who are getting into the retro scene, who went on to eBay and found some cool Amiga system that was modified already because it had all the things you wanted to do already done for you. And there's one particular thing that a lot of you may not think about when you buy these systems and that's when you buy the system and like this CD32 is a prime example. It comes with an expansion card already installed. It comes pre-configured with WHD load and a full workbench install so that all you have to do is plug it in, turn it on and start playing games. And that is great, isn't it? It's fun, you turn on. If you look at the video I just made with that terrible audio, that potato quality audio, I'm really sorry about that. Oh. You can see that you can fire it up, play games and have fun with the uh, Amiga game scene. But what about all the stuff that went on behind the scenes to make that happen? When you're using this, you may encounter an issue one day, unfortunately, where you turn it on and there's an error or an issue and that SD card or compact flash card, depending on the system that's in it, stops working. And you might just stop right there and say, well, what do you mean compact flash SD card? I don't understand what you're talking about. This is a compact flash card. And I know a lot of you might be rolling your eyes that of course, dummy, we know what a compact flash or an SD card is, but you know, there might be some folks out there that don't know what they are. So here's one. My point is that one of these, actually in this particular system, it uses an SD card, which is a smaller version of this. What if it goes bad? What if, what if the card in there stops working? So what I wanna show you is one of the most basic things you can do as soon as you get one of these home. So you're on eBay, you bought this Amiga 500, the CD32, an Amiga 1200, an Amiga 600, and it comes with a, an SD card or compact flash pre-configured with workbench and all these games and all this great stuff. One of the first things you need to do is open it up, pull that card out and back it up. I'm going to show you how to do that. So now on this CD32, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out the expansion module. Okay, there we go. There she goes. There she's coming. Oh, she's there. She's coming out. Okay. So there we go. There's that SD card I was talking about. This is the expansion module. This gives me a 68030 and an SD card hard drive which makes this CD32, this awesome WHD load games machine that I've showed in previous videos. But what I need to do is I need to pull this card out, give it a little push and take it out. And it just slides right out there and we can set this aside. So this little card here contains all of the information that makes using this so awesome. We need to back this up. So how do you back this up? There's a lot of ways you could back it up. You could well, you could network your Amiga and copy all the data off it, you know, to a network drive or maybe even to another Amiga. But I'm going to show you what I think is the most safest and simplest way. And this is something I do often when I update or tinker with my Amigas. I'll put a bunch of software on it. I'll configure it. I'll, I'll make it do all this cool stuff. And then once I get it to a really happy place, I'll shut it all down, yank the card out of it, take it over to my PC and back it up or image it to an image file. That way, if something gets crazy or it breaks or dies, I can just get another card, re-image the image to the card, put it back in, and it's like nothing ever happened. Okay, so here we are over on my PC. I'm gonna take this SD card and I'm gonna plug it into this multi-IO card reader that I have. So you will need this. You'll need some kind of multi-IO interface card that let you plug in all of this fun, happy stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in here and that'll get it into my Windows PC. And then we're gonna go up here and we're gonna use a program called Win32 Disk Imager. You can Google this and find it. I'll put a link in the description for the link I found, but it's very simple. You have to figure out once you insert that card, what drive 
letter it is and in my case it's e now keep in mind when you plug this card into your pc it may pop up a requester that says i don't know what this is can i format it make sure you say no hit cancel so what you're going to do is pick the drive that that card is in my case is e as i said and i'm going to call it cd32 backup you'll click well in this case it says open but you know open means save in this case and then what you're going to do is you're going to say not write you're going to say read and what that will do when you click read it'll start reading this com this uh, sd card it'll start reading it and writing it to this cd32 backup.img and when it's done this is what it'll look like it'll be sitting here it'll give you the option to read or write it because now that you've read in that card you can then write it to a new card which was the whole point of this exercise but yeah over here as you can see as you may have seen uh there's the backup i wrote it to the desktop and if you go here and let's go down to properties you'll see that it's 29 gigs that's a pretty big uh, sd card but again it has a pile of whd load games on it so now that i have this image file that cd32 this is a, the whole the whole universe and world that that cd32 exists in is right there so if i ever blow it up or screw it up or if that sd card dies i can come back to this file use this program i can then use this requester to pick this file insert the new sd card make sure i pick it under a device and then i can say write and then it'll write this image file to the new sd card and it'll be like nothing ever happened as i said okay so here we are with win uae there is the image file over there and again i apologize for the handheld look but you know you've come to expect that from this channel so we're launching win uae and you can do quick start cd32 go down to cpu you want to pick the 68030 and then you want to go down to ram and you want to go to the z3 fast and set it to 32 megabytes that's because my cd32 with this particular configuration has these modifications now I have actually saved a configuration as you can see here called cd32 real so i'm going to click that click load and this is going to configure the whole thing and if we go to hard drives you'll see here that i've picked my c users q desktop cd32 backup.img did not even need to rename it to hdf so having done that we'll go ahead down here and click start and now what we're going to do is verify that that backup image of that sd card is working so what we should see over here is exactly what we saw on my cd32 in my previous video and there you go look at that there's the cd32 image working perfectly everything's loading as it should and this is a very familiar looking screen if you've watched those previous videos of my cd32 look at that Click on run, WHD load, iGame, sure enough. And by the way, this WinUE emulator is configured as a normal Amiga. There's no special cheater accelerations enabled. So it's gonna be as slow <laughs> as the real CD32. So there you go. That's how long that took to come up. And that actually matches very nicely with the real CD32 go up here and we're going to type in a g o n and that'll give us agony yeah looks like it's loading successfully and what's important about this and what i'm trying to show is that you can back up your sd cards and compact flash cards that easily on your windows or mac computer and that way you don't have to worry about losing any data or corrupting anything so if you want to get experimental or try new things you can don't panic or if it goes bad you can always restore it what a great intro right i love that intro <laughs> so yeah i hope you found that uh educational or you know if you learned something if you already knew this i'm sorry to make you sit through it all but just remember when you get your new amiga home from ebay or wherever you bought it if it comes pre-configured with an SD or compact flash card, make sure you immediately take it out and back it up using Win32 Disk Imager so that you always have that backup and you won't lose any data. Thank you for watching.